quick haul video. This drink is amazing. It's absolutely lovely. Amarula cream liqueur is absolutely delicious. Really, really nice. I mean, I'm not a person that... that I don't drink, but um, I do like this. It's better than Bailey's. It's really, really nice. Um, large Reese's cups. I've never had the king size ones. I used to like these best when there was just two. When you buy them now, there's usually three in a pack, but I used to like just those two, one side by side. Um, uh, flickering LED tea lights. Uh, glitter spiders. I can't resist pastel colours, even though I probably won't be using unnecessary dyes, but there you go. I'll do swatches on these later. These nail polishes. Um, Belvita's breakfast soft bait. Ah, uh, this can have a, a tea light in. Unnecessary buys from Poundland in the 99 pence store. And there's some. Yay! Wait, crows. Oh, he's good, isn't he? The whole. What's that for Halloween? And, um, what I got the other year. This is. Hang on. Totally packed up here with no space. Oh, all falling down all around me. This little chap is so cute. Hang on. Oh, is he not going to do anything? Come on. Hang on. Oh. This is nuts. He doesn't do anything. Let's try it over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm silly. Oh, look, he's got a Halloween pumpkin inside as well. So that's quite good. <laughs> hey. Oh, he's setting up quite well now. I know I like silly things, but... Oh. You've got to decide to cheer yourself up sometime. There's, there's these, there's those. Poundland. Are we flickering? I suppose we are slightly. A light projector for Halloween. I go overboard this time of year with things for Halloween. Oh, and some just some nettle tea from Waitrose at Sainsbury Cellars. I like this nettle tea. It's really nice. Right, I can't resist these because of the lovely pastel shades. Oh, I've, I'm a sucker for pastel. I can't resist pastel shades. I think that's so lovely because I was thinking of oh I can take good pictures, pick Im you know steel images of um the nail polish. Let me just put the light out a moment. Sometimes I think these things show up better when it's just the light from the above the the laptop. Uh, I've got a magazine with a free nails ink. Uh, nails ink, where is it? Nails ink nail polish, a nice nude shade. The others, they were red and bright pink. Uh, this drink, as I've already said, is um, delicious. It's really, really nice. I like it better than Bailey's. There used to be one called Caroline's Irish Cream Liqueur, which is nice, but this is like a fruit from Africa, uh, from the Amarula fruit, and it is really delicious. I always have a bottle of this around, so I'm, I never usually without one. Really, really nice. Lovely cream liqueur. It's delicious. 
Now you used to be able to get this from lots of different shops. I mean the only place I found that I can get it now is Waitrose. But Tesco always used to sell it. Um, I'm not sure if they still do because I don't go to Tesco that often. But um, the first place I ever saw it was Summerfield. Oh dear old Summerfield. I miss the Summerfield shops. I wish they were still... Because once they were taken over by all the co-ops, that was it. Um, you know, the, uh, the Robert Dyer sections went. Some of them had Robert Dyer sections in and um, that went. So yeah, I used to love Summerfield. I used to like their livery as well, the nice blue. I bought one of the Corgi models of the trucks once on a special offer and that's what started me off on my Corgi tanker and truck curtain siders and uh, oil, tank, oil tanker um, collections, which I sort of stopped doing now. But um, yeah, I miss Summerfield. I like dear old Woolworths, I miss them. Well, of course, I know we've got Poundland and the 99 pence store, but still, I miss... But anyhow, yeah, Waitrose is the only place that I personally can find this drink now. But I'm sure, you know, Tesco and probably the Sainsbury's would do it as well. I don't know about um, Asda. I hardly ever, ever go into um, Asda's or... Um, you know the other lead, lead all the other supermarkets because there's not there's none really that close to where I am and um well Lidl's are but um I tend to I, I I used to go in one that was further afield but I'm rambling aren't I nobody wants to know all this um, I I'm trying to find something that I can put this little critter on I don't think anybody's going to want to watch this. They've probably all switched off, switched off already. Hang on. Enough of that. Enough. You can go up there. Oh. You've seen the, the, the glitter spiders. You see the glitter spiders? This a tea light goes in. Or one of these uh, flickering tea lights that you use batteries for. I've got a Leslie Garrett CD for Poundland. This delicious Guinness chocolate from the 99 pence shop. Which is, I don't like Guinness as a drink. I find it bitter, but I, not that, you know, my gran used to love it. But um, I she used to drink it every day. And a large bottle of whiskey. <laughs> but uh, I love this chocolate. It's my favourite chocolate. It's really nice. Oh, of course, on the Reese I've shown already, haven't I? Peanut butter cups, which I like, and uh, well, that's not going to be successful because it's just well, I don't know. I'm set up for Halloween. <laughs> uh, enough. I don't think there's a. Oh, I've shown these, haven't I? Velveeta. I'll do this in, when I get home. I'm at my friend's house at the moment, so when I get home, I'll do the swatches later and that'll be it. Bye for now. Ooh, see you later. I just thought I'd show again. Now I'm home with a different lighting and these are pretty pastel. They're lolly makers. Not that I'll be doing any of that, but um, I, I can't resist the pretty things like that. I know it's silly. Um... I've also got these headphones. I'm always buying headphones from Poundland. I don't usually get those sort. I usually get the earbud ones that go in, or the ones that hook over your ears, but I thought I'd try some of those. Oh, these, yes, from the um, 99 pence shop. <laughs> oh, let's 
silly, silly, silly. Yeah, the 99 pence shop. Pretty colours. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist those. Oh, here's the tea lights. The tea lights. The green. Hang on, where's the light thing? You see it? Is it, is it flickering? I think it is sort of slightly. What's that? I've taken these out of these containers, otherwise you just hear a load of rustling. There's two of these two Manhattan ones. Can we see that? This is called Lotus Effect. Well, they're both called Lotus Effect. <laughs> it both says Lotus Effect. I can't see a name on these, and it's just a number. 55K, and this one's 10C. Let's do a quick swatch. Oh, this might be a one coat. It might cover in one coat. Yeah, I, I can see a. Looks quite promising. I can see a colour. I don't know if the computer's picking it up. Oh, right, I've got to wipe it off with. Yes, I have. Quite totally unprepared. And uh, this one, I hope this is one of those glitters that... Mm, I don't know if it's going to cover in two coats. Like, some glitters actually cover in two coats, but this one might just be good for going over the top of something. But it doesn't look too bad. I mean, when I looked at it, let me just wipe that off. Don't, but when I looked at it on the brush, it looks like there's quite a, a bit on the brush. Don't want that dropping on the computer screen. Thank you very much. Uh, these NYC twin pack. Oh, the rustling gets on my nerves. Uh, don't know if it's got a name. Those two. I'm just doing this so I can do the swatch. Not quite promising. Doesn't look like it's going to be too see through. Wishy washy. Is it picking it up? I hope so. I can't tell from where I'm looking down on it. It's just. I can't tell until I watch the recording back after. Oh, this is nice. This is pretty. I hope it's picking that up. That's pretty. That's a nice... Looks like it's going to be a one coat one. Another one coat wonder. Oh, where's the... oh hang on. I've got a nail's ink one, haven't I? over here it is now zinc I like these um no room to move here I'm afraid oh this is the sort of thing that happens when I'm doing recordings I shouldn't ever oh, dear, I'm doing now got myself in the right state I saw the name of this earlier something muse I can't remember uh, oh gosh, I don't know, I can't. Hang on a moment, let me try and. I'll use the camera on a macro setting and see if it picks up what this name is. Let me put it on super macro. Oh, that's on the record. Let me put it on. Um, I'm wasting time on this. Right, super macro. Colville Muse. Colville Muse. It's called Colville Muse. Let me do a quick swatch on my finger. Oh, this this one. Oh yeah, this one looks promising. I've got a few nails ink nail polishes, but not many. 
are usually ones that have been free with magazines, but I have bought a couple over time. But there, that looks like it's going to be a nice promising one. I really hate it when you buy a what I'm hoping is going to be a mannequin hands type nail polish, a nice nude, and then when you try it on, it's so invisible and sheer, you've got to put about 10 coats on to get any colour, and then you can hardly see it. But yeah, that's not too bad. So that's, yeah, that's it. Bye.